Hey people, longer style video today and I'll be looking at the whole De Jong and Bernardo Silva situation and the latest news around Barca as well. So get your cup of coffee or beverage of any kind and we'll get straight into it. So today news came out from Santa Dion who is considered to be a tier 1 or tier 2 journalist for Barca. And he has said that Barcelona want to sign Bernardo Silva even if Frankie De Jong ends up staying. So when I first heard this news, the first thing that came to my mind was, how is this even possible? In my opinion, this makes no sense on a sporting and financial level. Frankie De Jong is currently our highest paid player by far, and he is owed millions by the club. Let's just say that he somehow manages to lower his salary and forget all about the deferred and loyalty payments that we have to give. If that ends up happening, he would still have a salary of at least 9 to 10 million euros. If we bring in Bernardo Silva, he would be expected to receive the same kind of wage as well. And as we can see with his time at Man City, this is what he's been earning. This means that Barcelona, who are already struggling to register their existing players, would find it even more difficult. I personally think this could just be paper talk, but considering the source of this news being a pretty reliable journalist, I am stunned. Now even though this makes no sense financially, it also is just wrong sportingly. Unless we plan on changing De Jong's position altogether to a defender or hopefully a wingback in our case, why would you have a midfield consisting of Kessier, De Jong, Pedri, Gavi, Torre, Busquets, Pjanic, Bernardo Silva, and Nico Gonzalez? Now midfield depth is good, but this just doesn't make sense. In this situation, players like Gavi and Nico who have a lot of talent might not even want to stay and compete. This could be a Thiago situation where since there's so much quality in the team, a lot of our young players leave and we don't actually need that to happen at the moment. I think Xavi and if the Xavi and the board are planning this, it just makes little to no sense. This kind of midfield is unnecessary and will pose problems that we don't need at the moment. And what do you guys think about this situation? And what should we do? Should we actually do this deal or not? Leave it all in the comment section below and make sure to check out the community page. Thanks again and as always, Visca el Barça.